everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm finally doing a really 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 highly requested video from you guys which you guys have re requested for a very long time and i'm finally doing it and it is actually the comparison between the Petty Pet Up Ink Velvet versus the Abbey Velvet. So as you can see straight away, you can tell that the Ink Velvet have more ranges compared to the Abbey Velvet just because the Abbey Velvet is actually quite new and still yeah, still pretty new compared to the Ink Velvet. Even though Ink Velvet already added 5 more in the collection but as you can see the ranges, there's definitely way more in Ink Velvet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and break down all the different comparison similarities in different parts for you guys so from the packaging from the scent from the texture from the color option from the longevity so let's get started So for the packaging wise, I just picked two random ones. This is the Ink Velvet and this is the Airy Ink Velvet. For the Ink Velvet, you can see it has like this metallic design going on there. And it's good because both of them, the color is quite true to color compared to the inside as well. Can you see the similarity? And I'll show you the Airy Ink Velvet one so you can see. So the Airy Ink Velvet, it looks like very like... Not plasticky, it's pretty solid. It looks like it's see-through. It makes me wonder whether it's see-through or not. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's see-through, but it just have this thicker frame around the um, bottle. But bottle-wise, they both look exactly the same, same with everything. So it's just the appearance looks a bit different, but yeah, so that's the packaging wise. And if I were to choose which one I like, Packaging wise, I would definitely say the ink velvet because it just looks much more shinier. Look at that. Compared to the Airy Ink Velvet, I feel like when they put it like a see-through, the colors are very, very similar. Can you see? So yeah, that's my thoughts on the um, packaging. Regards of the scent, I probably have to smell it right now and compare it for you guys. From what I heard, the airy one people say it smells really smelly and it smells really soapy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just actually gonna smell the ink velvet first and it describe how the smell is like to you guys. So the ink velvet one, it smells like very fruity, like a like a combination of like a berry berry scent, like a flowery berry scent. I'm so bad at discovering smell but this smells really really nice but I know for a fact that the smell doesn't linger on on your lips when you apply obviously you can smell it but after an hour the smell just disappears so if you guys are not into scent if you can bear for like one hour or less this will be a great product for you to buy now Eddie Ink Velvet, here we go. I've never really noticed scent because you know I don't really care about scent but I'm gonna smell it now so the Airy Ink Velvet after smelling the Ink Velvet is definitely very very different. The Airy Ink Velvet definitely smells like um, hand soap or like or like detergent if that makes sense. It's not that smelly but at the same time it's not like it's a nice smell. But for me I guess I actually to be honest I actually use the Airy Ink Velvet more than the ink velvet and the smell never actually put me off just because the smell do disappear straight after but like this one I just put it on during filming and the smell sort of disappeared unless I go like this then I can smell it but other than that it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all So in regards of the texture for the Ink Velvet and the Airy Ink Velvet, the Ink Velvet one, the texture is moussey, same as the Airy, but the Airy has a lighter mousse texture compared to the original Ink Velvet. I noticed with the Airy one, when you apply, you can feel the mousse, but at the same time, it feels like you're applying oil on your lips because it is so soft and so lightweight when you apply it feels like nothing once you apply it on however with the ink velvet obviously both of them are matte finish with the ink velvet you can definitely tell it is a matte finish compared to the airy one like at the moment i'm wearing the airy one and i feel like i'm not wearing anything i can literally just like smudge my lips right now and forgetting that i'm actually wearing a lipstick that's how lightweight it feels for the airy one but for the ink velvet you can definitely feel there's something on your lips because it does give a matte finish it doesn't feel drying at all for both of them but if you do have dry or 
strapless I would recommend going for the Eddy Ink Velvet just because it gives you more of a comfortable feel on your lips compared to the Ink Velvet. One suggestion for the Ink Velvet is that if you have dry lips and chapped lips but you still want to use the Ink Velvet, you can always put a lip balm on pet with the tissue so you don't get that like um, that slippery um, feel on your lips hence so that you can apply this properly and nicely or you can just put a lip liner under the ink velvet for the 81 you don't need to do anything you just apply if you soft and moisturizing at the same time yeah so if you it feels comfortable like both of them do feel comfortable but it depends on people's preferences I've done quite a bit of research to see people's opinions before I tell you guys my opinions just because I feel that when it comes to longevity, it's very different for everybody depending what you do during the day, what you eat, what you drink is all very very different. If you guys have watched all four of my um, swatches and review, you can tell that the Eddie Ink Velvet for me actually lasted longer than the Ink Velvet. I know it's shocking but that's how it is and if you guys are wondering why i have black on my fingers it's because i forgot that i was using dye and i didn't wash it off straight away and i didn't use gloves so i have stained for a bit but back to the ink velvet i felt that for the airy ink velvet it, the maximum it lasted me without touching up was actually seven hours yeah seven hours that's not leaving a stain but it's more like having the actual color on my lips seven hours and this is actually my favorite color which is the last shade number five for any ink ever and just look exactly like this after seven hours and that's eating drinking breakfast lunch snacks and drinking coffee and stuff like that and for the ink velvet for me i currently felt it only lasted me for five hours during the day and I've used this for a few times now but like I said it's depend on everyone's opinion but that's how I feel with the longevity wise for me I feel like the everyone lasted way longer than the actual ink velvet in regards of the staining I feel that the ink velvet stained way more than the airy velvet the airy velvet it was much more easier to remove rather than the ink velvet ink velvet do stain quite a bit on your lips so it does take some time to remove it so this is how it looks like after removing it with my makeup wipe as you can see it's stained a little bit on my dry patches but other than that it's completely removed in my camera just may not focus but this is how my lips look like you know the pigment like my lips is pretty pigmented so yeah so not much staining for this one so this is how it looks like after removing it with wipe you can see it's still staying quite a bit on my lips so yeah you can definitely tell that the original ink velvet definitely stained way more than the airy velvet Both do transfer quite a bit, but I'll show you guys how much is transfer, which one transferred the most. So at the moment, I'm wearing the 81 and I've had this on for at least 7 minutes. So I'm just gonna use my pa toilet paper. I can't find any tissue paper, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna use my toilet paper and I'm just gonna... So this is the 80 and this is the ink rubber. So you can tell... The, the ink velvet actually transfer more than the airy for me so i know for a fact that there are some people they were saying that the airy transfer more than the ink but i feel like for me it's definitely the airy has less transfer than the ink velvet These are 14 of the shades and I think one of the missing is the dark pink shade and this is the 81 right here. As you can see, they haven't really dried up much yet. In regards of how fast it dries on your lips, it does take quite a while so that's why I put it on for at least 7 minutes because by that 7 minutes it does dry up but obviously currently they are not dry yet. And I noticed when I was swatching the colours for this one, I noticed somehow some of the ink velvet colour it, tr it tends to bleed like I didn't notice that it bleed because I remember when I did my swatches and when I apply on my lips I don't notice whether it bleeds on my lips or not it doesn't really come out from my lips but when swatching this it bleeds so it makes me wonder whether um, I should be shaking the ink velvet before I actually apply it on my lips or not maybe I'll start doing that but yeah it's just very interesting but other than that 
the colors are all really beautiful as you can tell from the five of the eddy ink velvet they have you know orange there's pink there's a little bit of mauve that's the three colors main colors but with the um, ink velvet you can tell that they have different shade of colors like two different three different type of orange shade three different four different type of red shade my counting skills obviously and maybe like two mauve ready shade brownie shade dark orangey shade so yeah you can see the ranges is definitely a huge range, huge selection of colors that you can definitely choose from and my arms is getting really tight so i'm just gonna lean it like that while i talk so for me i personally feel that i like the ald ink velvet way more than the original ink velvet just because i have really dry and chappy lips most of the time so Wearing the Airy Ink Velvet actually makes me feel more comfortable compared to the Ink Velvet. With the Ink Velvet, I just have to be honest, I don't really use it as often and even if I use it, I'll put lip balm or apply lip liner before it just because it just makes my, my lips more comfortable compared to the Airy Ink Velvet. With the Airy Ink Velvet, I felt like I don't need to do anything but in regards of the opacity or the pigmentation, obviously the ink velvet have more pigmentation than the Eddie ink velvet. So if you want more pigmentation for the Eddie one, definitely use the same correspondence color to the the color itself. So if it's a pink, use a pink lip liner. But other than that, I feel like I have no problem with it. And to be honest, I still enjoy all of them. But if I would have to pick one, it would be the Eddie ink. Velvet. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot and I really hope it's not too jaggy but at the same time I really hope it's detailed and informative enough for those who are actually really curious and the ones who have requested me to do this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know down below what you want me to film next and I'll definitely check it out. So if not, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!